Okay, this is the follow-up video for when you have your clothing or item added to your avatar. First, you want to start by duplicating your avatar, and it will place it up here, and then you just slide it next to it, left or right, doesn't matter. You're going to need your animator tab up here at the top, and animation here at the bottom. And to get to those, you go to Window, and Animation here, then you will go and open Animator and Animation. Now that we have this, we have the harness selected here. This is what we're making our toggle for. So then there should be something here that says create an animation. I already did that and I named the harness off. Then you save that, add property. And since the harness is underneath the body here, we will go here, is active, delete this keyframe here, and uncheck that. So now we're going to create a new clip with the harness on. Oh, you also have to have this toggled off, my bad. So now we're going to go toggle on. And again, we go down to add property. Harness is active. We will turn that back on, delete this keyframe here, and hit record. And this is why you want to duplicate it, because this may happen, and you don't want to have that happen to your main racks. But now that we have the animations done, you can go ahead and delete the duplicate. So now we're going to come over here, and this will be FX overriders that we need to add it into. And I didn't organize where my animations were, so I had to search here real quick. But what we're going to do here is go to Parameters. We're going to make this a Boolean. And come down here, rename it. And then over to Layers here. Add a new layer. And you need these to be the same, caps and everything. And then we turn the weight up to 1. And then we can drag our animations in here. Then we're going to make transitions between the two. And then on this one, conditions harness, that is going to be true. And then this one will be harness and false. And then what you want to do to make sure there's no delay is come in here, change your exit time to 0.01 and check it to make sure it's not there. That's just double checking to make sure it's actually good. So that should be all we need to do there. We'll go back to scene. Then we come to rec state parameters. We are going to add. It will duplicate the last one, so you're going to have to rename it. This will be Harness. And then we need the Expression menus here next. And then we do Add Control. Then this will be Harness. And make sure this is a toggle. Then Harness Pool. And that is everything. That is how you make a toggle. Now you can upload your avatar to VRChat, and it should be in your menu and toggleable.